just a little prep and website uh, stuff that we were doing. Is that supposed to be plugged in anywhere, that red cord there? Hey guys, welcome to our Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 o'clock Mountain Time and we take junk, stuff that we got for free, stuff that's not selling, and we turn it into items that we sell at jamierayvintage.com with products that we use at jamierayvintage.com and we also sell it in our store. So welcome if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you are, if you're on Facebook, we'd love you to give us a like and a follow. And of course, the um, ever important thumbs up. We're gonna be showing you guys today how to make over baskets. I don't know if you're like me, but I'm a basket hoarder. I'm a jug hoarder. And I always think I'm gonna get to them later and do something fun. And I have been searching around on Pinterest. I was gonna give some credit work, you know, for who came up with the idea, but Good it's luck. kind of all over the place. So I don't know who came up with it first, but I saw all these fun fabric type like labels on baskets that made them look kind of French. And when I was at Harbor Freight, I found these shop towels, 50 for 9.95. They look like they're made with drop cloth and they are um, hemmed around the edge. So this size is perfect for a big basket, but they can also be cut down and frayed to do some big fun. So we're gonna be doing stenciling with our new stencils that just came out. So if you didn't see yesterday's stream, we've got a bunch of stuff here. I left the paint on them so you can see kind of the designs good. Hold on, Caitlin says, do I click enter studio? Um, no. Or she says, it says to give mic and camera access. No, she doesn't. Um, that's only if we're gonna have her join. Caitlin, can you, sorry, we're, this is something new. We're using StreamYard. Um, Caitlin, can you see comments though? Text me and let me know. You should be able to see comments on the side then. Yeah, Caitlin is gonna be on here moderating. But yeah, you can give it access. If yeah, you if want. you want them to see you. <laughs> All right, we'll wait to hear back from her, but we're going to get going here. Um, we are super excited. Fun little house minis. No, Caitlin can see no comments. All right, go ahead and click enter studio, Caitlin. But All don't right. give it mic and camera access. So these are fun. Yeah, Caitlin's trying to moderate here and answer all your questions and drop links if we miss them. All right, let's start. Yeah, what I, we're going to tag team today. So yeah. I want you to we actually have oh, some larger stencils i want to do like a larger type stencil on this one okay hold on um i think eliza's vacuuming up there hold hey, on a second it's a, it's a wednesday morning hey eliza we're live so you can't be vacuuming eliza okay thanks odelia for those of you that are new here we have five children four that live at home and my parents live with us so it can be loud we also have two sheep and ten chickens okay so I, I kind of sorted this stuff. All right, Caitlin, go ahead and just give it access. Unless we add you to, they're not going to see you or your camera or your mic. Sorry. Yeah, I have to add you to the stream. So don't just don't add yourself. Yeah, just unless you want to, you know, you can just come doing it on the front. All right, I'm going to be working on these baskets while you're doing that. Okay, so you want a larger one here. We've got several. We have the sugar skulls. Actually, yeah, no, I'm going to work on this. These, you can find them at jamierayvintage.com and a lot of our retailers carry them too. So I wanted, there's one in here. Hold on. There's Let's this one. Drafting. So this is what I was thinking. This one has like number 10, Cotton, Watson, Williams, and it says the only genuine whatever. See what you can fit on there. All right. I thought there was a French one that was that big. Maybe not. Okay. I'll pull up. Can you see what comments and questions are on there? Because you're going to have to do double duty until Caitlin gets logged in. Um, it just says, everyone's saying hi. So hello, All right, good. everyone. Hello, hello. Too many people to uh, name individually, but we're glad you're here. I've been up since 4.30 a.m. because I'm super excited about this. Does that ever happen thanks, to you guys? Thanks for bearing with us while we figure, figure out how to stream. So I, I had more up. colors. Do you know where they went? I had like the liquid patina. And did we not you get this all over here? OK. Yeah, so I've got this stencil. Once I get it on there, you'll be able to see it better. And it might go over a little bit. It's not quite big enough. All right. Alrighty. Caitlin is on. Woo -woo. Figured it out. I knew she could do it. She's good. Yeah, if anybody can, Caitlin can. So that I don't get she knows all the things. Okay, I'm going to try to paint the inside of this bottle. This is just a jug. We sell these on the website, but you can find them um, in antique stores, thrifting. Sometimes if you buy like that really bougie, expensive, organic pressed juice, mom, we're live. 
Oh, okay. Odelia's up there and Eliza's up there. All right. So we've got weathered wood in here, and I'm going to add a little water and see if I can get it to move. Yeah, tell her because she can't hear it very well, and she doesn't necessarily want to be on camera. Sometimes she'll just walk right in. <laughs> All right. It's not doing what I wanted it to do exactly, but I'm going to try. I wanted to just tint the inside of this bottle to make it look old. Should have mixed the paint up first. I realize that now. <laughs> we do we do the fails here so you guys can have all the success at home. Oh my gosh. Okay. So if you guys follow me on Instagram or Facebook, <laughs> I don't know if anybody's watching the Olympics, but I posted on there. They should put like regular people on there so they could see like what regular people can do. And I like put my name. They're like, and here's Jamie. She just has been skating two times. And look at her, she's falling down right now, but she's a good sport. She's pulling herself back up on the sidelines. Anyways, that's kind of like me with crafting live. <laughs> so when you're crafting fabric, offload still, you don't want it to be super juicy, but you want to have a, a, bit, a little bit more paint than if you're like stenciling wood or, or something that's like a paper product. All right, I'm getting it to move, look at that. Hey, that's looking good. What? It worked out. Look at you go. That's maybe a winner. We'll find out. So you can swirl. You do the swirl method on here. But with the fabric being a little bouncy, like it's got some give to it, not like a piece of wood or something, um, I like to just pounce on fabric. DIY projects should know I ain't going to give up so easy. So the nice thing about these shop cloths is that there's 50 in a pack. So I don't feel bad using one for this purpose. Zeb doesn't sound as clear as me. Um, do you have your mic on? on? It should be on. Maybe I'm over there. Press the button. Maybe I'm muted. I'll check it. Is it better now? No, I didn't check. I can check right here. All right. Oh, I am muted. So you're just getting me from Jamie's mic. Good call. Way to say something. All right, something. we're going to have to swap sides, though, if you don't read comments. I'm reading them. They're just way over there. I'm stenciling. No one has asked any questions yet, except for the mic. <laughs> All right, it's it's a, it's kind of gray. Is that better? Does that sound better now? One of these days, we'll get everything all together and act like we actually know what we're doing. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna swap you because I. Shelly says that's better. Um. Everybody says hello. Good morning. I guess I'll just I'll just move. Yeah, I'm I'll just scooch here. over because she's got to be here. Hey, you're not allowed. Yeah, to touch they the said mouse. that they said that a while back to check your mic. That's why the difference is that I had LASIK surgery, so I can actually read the comments from back here. Zeb, if he's not wearing his glasses, cannot. <laughs> Which I rarely wear my glasses. I'm gonna have to reset up. All right. You know, I could put it over here, but I'm nervous to give you all the power with the electronics. You're nervous to give me all the power. With the electronics. All right, let's see. That's okay. I just, it's pretty easy to line this right back up. Just checking. Somebody says it is a little bit fuzzy, but that's the best we got today. We got to right. go. We got to, we got to craft. I am crafting. Oh no, I had it all stretched all out. Right. I think we got I almost got it all the way around. I like legit am missing like just right here. I wanted to tint my bottle and it's not. There's still more paint in the bottom. I'm gonna I'm gonna add more water. Maybe if I get like serious with the sprayer, because it'll be hardcore to like loosen that paint up in the bottom. Maybe. Show that paint who the boss is. I like paint I like tinting the inside of stuff instead of the outside because then it doesn't flake off all right let's see here in about 18 minutes i'll have a stencil done so you can see <laughs> i'm teasing it'll be faster than that are you going to stencil on the outside of that i'm going to glue a piece of fabric on here oh nice i'm just trying to tint the bottle my couch slip covers if you don't live in utah I can't help you. <laughs> They're made by slipcovers by Shelly, and she's a local um, seamstress that does custom slipcovers. Yeah. You can buy Ikea couches. And after our couch, she's like, you know, I think I'm going to take a little break for a while. She did not. It's just a big <laughs> sectional. It is I have big. a brown hand. All right, I think I've tinted this as good as it's going to go. 
All right, go show them up rest. close so they can see. It's kind of got like I a little bit of a light out. ombre going. Okay. So, forget. There you go. So it's kind of got this aged situation happening in the bottle. We're going to set that aside. It's got like a big chunk of paint there. But if you find like old bottles, they're always like weird and worn inside. Are you going to put this piece of fabric on there? Um, no, that's too big. This is big. I'm going to have to cut it. Did we get scissors? Um, they're in that back drawer if they're anywhere. Do, you sis, do I want to create a large iris stencil? Uh, maybe in the spring, but that's probably not something that we're going to use for a while. Caitlin, what's the name of this one? It's the only genuine white, more pattern improved cotton number 10. <laughs> Oh, Caitlin was the one answering, asking what stencil. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. And then I'll get back to what I'm doing. We just had them, so we're not, we, we named them, but, you know, we're not familiar. We're not we don't remember. We've slept since then, so we don't remember everything. Just comes off the back of the conveyor belt. We have, so, so this if July has been like the busiest month of the year for you, raise your hand, because it's been pretty crazy for us. <laughs> I'm going to have to send this to Bethany because that one is not on the website. This one's not? Yeah. All right. Well. We'll get it there soon. So we have, we have 19 stencils, not 18. All right, I'll send it to her. Okay. I mean, she must have had it at some point because she made it. Yup. All right, we're getting down to the bottom. I'm hesitant to move it off my fabric because I had it all pulled out nice over there and, and the fabric is, so I can't show you intermittently because it's harder to line up. Something to note if you're stenciling fabric. I actually think that that's kind of cool because when you get an old bottle, it like has that age. Did you effect. dump all the water and things out? Yeah, it's got <laughs> some more. So I'm gonna leave it in the. I'm gonna leave it in the you sink. You gonna let for it drain minute. in the sink? It's water based, so we're good. All right, I'm gonna get to stenciling. Okay, you're gonna need to because this is a you. You're like, let's do the biggest one we've got. <laughs> Where's the scissors? I said, if they're anywhere, they're gonna be in there, so they're not anywhere. <laughs> Good luck. So we have lots of crafters in the house. We are not the only ones that use the craft supplies and they go on walkabout quite often. We had all our paint ready. All the paint was out and ready to go. There we go. I don't know. That hey. drawer, that drawer over there is where they're at. Hey, Missy. She is a new channel member. All right. Welcome, Missy. Channel membership is fun. We uh, we get you get a couple printables and a couple live videos every month that are extra, and it's uh, there's only there's there's not nearly as many people on the live stream, so you get your questions answered, and we talk about some weird stuff sometimes. Not necessarily weird, but just definitely behind the scenes info. You you get it first on the channel member lives for sure. Leslie says you'll love being a channel member. I hope so. Um, make sure you check out community for our last channel member live, which was last week. And then we'll have another channel member live next week on Tuesday. We're always doing fun stuff. All right. This kind of curves. So I'm, I'm cutting off. This probably seems counterintuitive to cut off the um, hemmed edge, but I'm going to cut this. Here. So the swirling is way faster. I tried it down here because I'm able to hold the stencil real tight here on the edge. Um, I think I did get a little juicy underneath there though. Yep. Not terrible, but a little juicy. All right. So I rounded all the edges and I'm going to fray this out. And I moved the co over because it was hanging off. And I may have pulled too much. All right. Start over. Okay. Coming at you. This is the stencil you can't have because I don't think it's on the website. You will be able to have it eventually. It'll be up there. If by you've the, already ordered By the can... time the live stream's over, it'll be up there. And we have free shipping on the stencils on our website. So if you got to do an add-on order, no biggie. Yeah. But that, you know, that would just be like a cool towel. If you were, 
you know, if you were going to hang this somewhere or like put it in your bathroom or something? So to heat set the fabric, you wait 24 hours and you can heat set it with an iron. These are going to go on baskets. So I'm not like super concerned with like it being heat set. We can just heat gun it and I think it'll be good enough. It's not like somebody's going to throw the basket in the wash. That basket's a little small. Yeah, that one's too small. Is this basket tall enough? This stencil is big. I'm trying to fray the edges here and I'm not winning. There we go. All right. So we might have to cut it a little on the bottom. But that's not going on that. That's going on this basket. I'm just showing them. Oh, I'm like, that's going on this basket. That's for that one. Gotcha. But I was thinking we might should do some like old and gray or something to like age the basket. I don't know. You uh, guys say what you think. Should we leave I it? I think it's okay. Light. I think that's a lot of steps for a live stream video. Oh, that does look cool. So I saw where people use decoupage to like decoupage it to it. And that's what I wanted to try today. But I don't know if we want to try it on the big one or if we want to do like a little one first. So what I'm thinking is get the get the hot decoupage glue. on here. Okay. And then I'll hot glue the corners and then we'll put the rest of it on. Let's do it. All right. I but this the isn't edge. dry, so we're going to wait a hot second. We'll see how this works out. We're trying it on the video live for the first time. You know, sometimes we see these things. We're like, let's try that this morning on a live stream when we've never done it before. That's pretty much every time. Okay. I'm going to stencil one more thing. Leave it natural. And Robin says we're teasing them with the new stencil. <laughs> with the new stencil. It's, it'll be up in like half an hour. Let's see. Jen's on here from Facebook. Oh, some of these are lighter in this pack. I like this white one. And it's... Judy says she loves catching us in Kansas. Okay. Oh my gosh, Amy's finally over pneumonia. Thank Whew. goodness, Amy. That has been a long... All right. Did you drop more stencils down here? A long process. All right, guys. I finally think I got this the way I want it. I want this to look like an old, crusty piece of fabric. Lately, we've been getting a lot of new comments from people like, that looks old and used. That's entirely the point with this. So, 100% the reason we did good it. Good job, Jamie. I'm going to be using one of the new mini croc stencils. I'm going to use this French one. It says creme de mans and mares. I don't know what it means. I'm going to look it up eventually. Um, the mini crocs, I think, comes with eight different ones. But I wanted to do blue on it, the blue iris. Because French blue is really popular. So I'm going to use French blue. And when I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like. We also have a bunch of French grain sacks that are not part of the new release that you can find that would be really great for this project. You could also do like a grain sack. Holy moly, this paint is. It's been a minute. <laughs> it, it was almost empty when we put it up. <laughs> All right. So it's, it's pretty thick. Well, this, this brush must have just been washed. It's a little wet, so we're doing good. All right. So I am going to... All right, I'm going to be using the mini here. I'm going to offload yeah. onto the plastic part of my stencil. Um, the thing with fabric, though, is you do want it a little bit juicier than if you're doing wood. So keep that in mind. And I'm going to swirl it on here. You can also tape if you're concerned about holding your stencil straight. Like if you don't want to hold it with one hand and stencil with another, just use blue painter's tape. You can hold it. So I'm using aviary and DIY paint. And it's, it's, I feel like it's the green that keeps on giving. It works for summer. <laughs> it's like the new popular green for like kitchen cabinets. It's really close to that color that everybody's using. Joanna Gaines used a very similar color on her kitchen cabinets. Yeah. Just saying. And it's, it's coming in. It's not, it's not like avocado green. It's more of like a sage, deeper green. And it works for holidays, all kinds of stuff. I call it a good farmhouse green. Like you think of like old moss growing on barn wood. It's a good one. I'm, my, I'm, I'm so used to swirling because I love that method. But I did get a little juicy down there on the bottom. So I'm just, I'm just going to stamp. This is, I went with the green because this is for kind of like the holiday season. It's uh, 50 pounds net weight, pine tree. Uh, trademark, and then it's farm seeds for pine right. trees. So here is this one. Can you guys see that? That's done with the little grain sack. It's the, sorry, not the grain sack. This is the croc minis that just came out. And I am going to. Okay. Oh, you ripped your fabric. I like that. That's kind of yeah, cool. That's, that's the point. It's got to look old, man. I'm going to attach it to the bottle here. 
And where's that? Do we have our glue gun plugged in? Yep, it's okay. hot, but you might need to move it over to your side without unplugging the camera. I don't believe that I did, but you I'm might want to double check. Over there is the camera. Oh, over there's the camera? <laughs> yeah. Then I did Just not. don't unplug That's anything. That's a really serious be, plug. And you'll be okay. <laughs> okay. So this color of blue iris is really close to the blue that we saw all over France. Like it was everywhere on their e enamel numbers and decor. It's a really good French blue. Did you show them that close? Yeah. And I did get a little like bleed through, but if you've ever seen like old stenciled labels, that's pretty common. So don't feel bad. Don't get discouraged by that. You can wait till it gets dry and like sand your fabric a little. I've done that before. Just be careful. Okay. This says one gallon here. So Christmas in July, we're still in July, right? We've got some Christmas stuff coming out. The reason we come out with yeah, it so same. early is because a lot of you guys that watch us are makers and get some ideas for your holiday crafts and things. And we want to be able to get it to you early enough that you can start making stuff. Well, for your booths, for markets, for neighbor gifts, whatever it is that you do, because it takes a hot minute to bust out handmade stuff. Props to you if you do neighbor gifts. We tried that one year. Man, we tried. It like set an expectation every year. They're like, where's my neighbor gift? We've done neighbor gifts multiple <laughs> years. We have less neighbors because everybody's further apart. So I feel like we could do our little block and it wouldn't be too hard. Yeah. Right, I'm going to cut well, everybody's off the longer got like, strings. Like we have the small lot on the street. We're on a quarter acre. Everybody else is like on a three quarters, half, a couple acre uh, lots because we're old part of town. And some have been subdivided and have like flag lot situations. But for the most part, they're still pretty big lots. I love this so much. I can't wait to show you guys. Hold on. So I also think it would be way cute if you took burlap and wrapped it around. And the other thing about using hot glue is you could totally do like some of our uh, seasonal like Christmas or Halloween minis. Mm -hmm. And this is like French inspired. However, you could totally make oh, this man. look like an old potion bottle and put like a ghost on it or whatever. Yeah. And get like that aged, We've decrepit. we got some fun vintage Halloween stuff too look. all out. I'm gonna bring it up close. I don't wanna bring too close, right? Cause then it gets blurry. Um, hold it over the edge of the table there. And you should be pretty good. Yeah, I see that. I'm gonna leave that there so y'all can take a peek at it while Zeb's doing his project situation. Do you I ever just want like to take it. like the day off from your regular stuff and just do all the crafting? Like I feel like I could stencil all day right now, but I gotta put a fence in on the side yard after we're done here. I'll stay in and stencil and you fence. <laughs> I'm his little we got to we got to get that pool secure. The the city was like, you know what? We really because if you don't know, we just got a pool in the backyard. The city to to get our final inspection. They're like, we really love that you put the the cover on there that can hold 500 pounds and keep people out of it, but you got to have a fence still. <laughs> um, Zeb is using aviary for his green. Yeah, aviary is what I've got. All right. You know, I think. Because these, if you get these towels, what I'm discovering is they move. They're moving a little bit on me. So I think in, in the future, when if I was doing like a set thing, I would get some painter's tape or something and tape these to whatever I was stenciling on, um, like this drop cloth, because they're kind of moving and it's it's fine because it's fabric, but it's making my my stuff be a little not centered. And if you've got an eye twitch like me sometimes, I've, I've learned to live with the eye twitch. It's like you're we, married to me the eye and we deal we deal with old stuff and and uh symmetrical is often not the game you want it to be balanced but not like even patterns life's too short to be a perfectionist so I've, if you I've, are I've a perfectionist a cheers to you <laughs> i'm just cutting off this uh hemmed edge because i want it to look a little more raw like that one but if you want it to be perfect i guess what i'm saying if you want like the nice clean symmetrical centered piece stretch your fabric out tape it down then stencil these actually would be really great for like little toss pillows too and if you get 50 in a sack for 9.95 like you could i mean do i feel like we could mess up a few them. and it'd be all right i mean we're using like such minimal amounts of paint it's a great way to practice your stenciling situation. All right, let's keep cutting here. If you're just coming on and you have questions, let us know. Caitlin's in the comments dropping links. 
Um, let us know if you're already starting to think about the holidays coming up. I mean, let's be honest. It was 101 degrees yesterday. Yes. 101 here in uh, in the beautiful, cool state of Utah. That's, that's, that's a lie. It gets hot. <laughs> the reason why I'm really focusing on like a handmade holidays is because with the current like design movement into like cottage and curated looks and then with the whole like after the pandemic and everything that we had last year and that we're still going through, I feel like people really want cozy interiors and handmade and homemade really lends itself to a cozy, a cozy interior. Raise My, your hand if you just want to go make like a ton of towels and and things with the stencils. You know, heat set these, have them in your bathroom, uh, in your kitchen, wherever you need a towel. Caitlin says it's not supposed to. Do I sell the fabric? So, no, we do sell the stencils um, at jamierayvintage.com along with the paint. But the fabric, we just picked up a pack of um, shop towels from Harbor Freight, a 50 pack. Mm -hmm. um, I've shown the. It, because there were different ones that were colored, but these were pretty much, these are drop cloth okay, material. Okay, yeah, it's drop cloth that they've hemmed. And Jamie was excited that they were hemmed, but now she's just cutting all the edges off anyway. <laughs> well, because they've already been pre-measured for me, okay? Here there go. you go. I'm just going to, I'm going to ruffle this hem a little bit and make it look old. Pull this apart. I like it. It makes it look less like I messed up and it's not even, because these aren't, these aren't exactly square. Like they are scrap fabric i'm not exactly square so it's good but that's that's, that's what this is there's 50 of them here um Brady's the package looked like this it was just sitting on an end cap i i destroyed it but michelle got a job offer and she's super excited All i'm right, excited michelle. for you too michelle that's awesome so that's that's what we're using who has kids going back to school our kids go back on the 17th, which happens to be our 20th wedding anniversary. I'm like, happy anniversary to us. The kids are back in school. All right. <laughs> now I've got this kind of frayed along the edges. I'm going to go ahead and. So you can see that stencil on. a lot better now that I've got paint on it. That's super cute. Yeah, it's it's good. I don't All know right. which basket I don't know we could put that to on. Attach that to, so let's we have, to the we have these big ones. Do we want to? I wanted to work on these a little bit, though. These aren't as slick. And can you could you do one with um, old and gray? I think um, yes. it's in the car. A basket? There's the old and gray. Oh, the old and gray is right over here. Shop. Oh, I brought it in? Okay. Yeah. I went to the shop this morning after I got Eliza picked up from Cheer. You want me to put it on which basket? Those um, laundry type baskets here because, no, not that one because oh, that one's shiny, ones. but this one is not. Okay, we're going to. I feel like we can these. make it look old. You guys see this? Uh oh. The recording stopped. Hold on. It does that. I got to figure out the settings. Francis says she loves my hair. Oh, they were over there. Um, we where were we, always there. We got the, Lori, we got these at Harbor Freight. I just I just put it to the full screen view. We you know. could also cut up a big drop cloth. Maybe too. someday we'll have someone to monitor. So this all is the where we're we're going with this. <laughs> but I'm going to. So what did you say? We need to liquid patina. Yeah. And then we can liquid patina over the top. I want it to look like an old label. This is, this doesn't really have a center, which is great because I don't have to be super organized. Okay. Oh, you took the brush I was going to use. I'll get another one. I'm using liquid patina to adhere this to the basket. Oh. You need me? Yeah. If that ever happens to you, just use warm water or get a big strong man or be strong yourself. I don't have the hand strength that I used to have. Like my arms have strength, my hands do not. There you go. Sorry. I, I loosened it for you. My realtor's like, did, did, did the broker call you? Sorry. We're always, we always have a million ventures going. We went and looked at a fixer upper yesterday. As per usual, we needed a break from like the regular humdrum situation of our life. We were working on a bunch of different projects. I'm like, you want to go look at a, get a drink and look at a piece of property? And I was <laughs> like, yes. So I'm using liquid patina, which is a decoupage medium. It's what we use to adhere our decoupage paper to pretty much anything. But online, I saw people using decoupage mediums to attach fabric. So I thought, why the heck not? This is what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just aging this a little bit. And I'll, I'll pull a little bit more off of there, I think. But that's the old and gray side. And this is the raw. Did I get enough on there? 
I think I did. Oop, I need to get a little bit more over here. Because like old labels kind of attach to things and they kind of were. Just careful not to roll that over my old and gray. Oh, okay. Because I know you can't see it right there. I cannot see what's going on. I'm also going to use glue to hold it while the medium dries. And just in case this doesn't actually work, the glue will hold it on. I got to stand up. I'm doing almost like a dry brush. Just very little old and gray on here. Oh. I think it's working out. I might not pull it back off. I might just do a dry brush over Have the Have you thing. ever stenciled on an old screen? Not for a long time, but it does look really cool. I love, we do a lot of like label type stencils because that's what I love. And that looks so good on old screens. But I also love them for, if you have a big old screen, you could do like a Christmas stencil, like that tree one, and then put hooks across the bottom and make a stocking holder. Cause not everybody has a fireplace mantle. So those always do really well for me, stocking holders. Did we get more hot glue, sweetie? Um, you had two of the big long sticks and then behind the, oh, here you go. I knew I had them out. <laughs> um, she was like reading and trying to grab those from me. And I was gonna put them in her hand, but she kept moving her hand because she was watching on camera. <laughs> I was reading at home with mama says, I love what you're doing with the baskets. I love decorating with baskets. The baskets are awesome. They really bring a nice homey feel into anything. It's a good way to get like earthy wood tones into your home without having to do like a bunch of heavy wood furniture. I love big ones like this that look like they're like laundry type baskets. And this patina will dry clear. All right, here goes nothing. I'm going over the top of it. My concern is that the Is paint, it going to smear because it hasn't been heat setted? No. Heat setted, heat set. The paint. No, it seems to be doing okay. So far, so good. I'm going to try to not overwork it and just put it on there like gloppy and thick because I feel like if I overwork it, it's going to smear the paint because it's not heat set. Another thing we could have done is put a little bit of liquid patina in the paint. So it has a little finish in the paint because this DIY paint is water soluble. So that's another option. But so far, it must be really well soaked into the fabric. Well, because... so when it goes in the fabric, it's hard. I mean, if you've ever tried to just wipe spots of paint out of fabric, you almost have to just throw the whole thing in the washing machine and just let it go because you're not going to get that one little spot out. I'm going in opposite direction to try to get it down into the wicker of the basket. I mean, like, obviously we're not going to have connection on every point of the basket because this is a basket, it's not a piece of furniture, but it will help this adhere to our well, situation. Well, I think it, once it dries, it'll probably pull it down and make it form to the yeah. basket a little better too. It'll make us different. Well, I did use a little bit of hot glue and I tacked it in the corners. And you could probably peel this off and do something else on it too. It's not like a permanent adherence. All right, I think I'm almost gone all the way around the basket. I need to do this top piece here. What you could also do if you wanted to age this some more is when it was dry, go over the whole piece, the fabric and all with old and gray. And that would be cool. Oh, I like this. I might be doing baskets while you are doing the fence. <laughs> At least while I go get I'll the I'll bring supplies, you cold right? beverages. Yeah, we should we should disclaim. Jamie's like, we want to go get a drink. We went to the show to, the soda stand. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> I had a diet Dr Pepper with diet raspberry and diet cream, and Zeb had a lemonade. That's what kind of drinks we were drinking those and driving, but not the hard liquor. I guess drinking doesn't mean the same thing to everybody. When you're Mormon, that's about what it means. <laughs> Or we could use the long name, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, but not everybody knows what that is. All right. This is not smearing at all, which is making me so happy right now. <laughs> I love it when we get a win when we're trying new things on live live uh, video. All right. I'm going to show you guys how this is like. I love The reason why I wanted to do this is because I wanted it to like have the texture of the basket underneath. So as it dries it should suck itself like to the basket. And it's not like perfect and even exactly, which makes it look pretty authentic. This would be super fun to do with one of those grain, French grain sack stencils too. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more around all the edges because that's where I feel like it needs the most adherence. 
Um, let's see. Okay. I saw Jamie, where did you get the basket? So I thrifted them, but we do have two baskets. I'll show you in a minute that are up on jamierayvintage.com. All right, so we got a little bit of age. You can see the inside. I did not do the inside. I don't know that I'm going to. I just, I might leave that blank. Typically a basket like this is you're either gonna use it for laundry or you're gonna have like pretty blankets or, or stuff hanging out of it. Let me see it. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sold on that. I feel like it needs more. More? Yeah, right? it needs to be darker. Well, I'm gonna go set it in the sun because it was wiping off because okay. it's slick. <laughs> All right. And then I'll put another coat. Well, I'm wondering if we should do paint. Oh, maybe. Something thicker. All right. This basket's gonna hang out back here and dry. I'm in love with that. I'll show you guys these two baskets and we'll do some more stenciling. So this is the braided basket. You can search that one. And this one is listed as the plant basket because I kind of thought this would be cute with a plant in it. And these already have great patina and age. I would need nothing more than like a cute stencil label on them. All right. Okay, let's stencil some more. Yep, I'm gonna do a little one for those little baskets. It's really not hard to do. I wanted to do this one. I'm gonna do something small. Do you have another, what do you want on this one? Uh, what I wanna want. Oh, that's for sale on the website, so I wasn't gonna use it. Oh. I was gonna do the other basket that I got. Which other one, this other big one? Yeah. You know what though? Hold on, I got an idea. You have an idea? While she's having an idea, I'm gonna stencil another one of these. You know, the bonus thing, she cut those. I've got all this fun little rag scrap that I can use to like wipe my hands on and stuff. What if we did one in this one and then you could hang it on the wall? Inside? Yeah, you could do like a square inside. Where did you even produce that? Basket? That's what our that's what our remotes were in. Oh, the TV remotes. Doesn't everybody have a remote basket? <laughs> um, so I think actually that would actually be cool in the remote basket, like yeah, just sitting the, on the bottom. The kids never put the remotes back, anyways. That's the rule. If you use the remote, you don't go lounge with it on the couch. You put it. You use the remote and you put it right back in the basket because otherwise. I gotta order a new remote because it'll get lost in never, never land couch cushions. You guys have that think, problem? <laughs> do I have another like clear glass jug? I think that's the only one that I have. The rest are on, at the shop. I had a stencil that I had selected. Where did it go? They're clear. All right, time for a new one. These are all old labels from Crocs. All right. I like this. Pure cream one. The number three is good. I'm going to do these little jars. This one's from Denver, Colorado. Where are my Denver people? It's the Western Pottery. It's like from actual Crocs. The Western Pottery manufacturer, Denver, Colorado. Those guys are our neighboring state. I'm doing well, people it. People can't see this. I thought you can't, see? Was... can't see what? Our basket. That? Never put it. You can, just, you can just cook. set it over here by me. It's wide. It oh, goes there's on space the whole over thing. there? Yeah. It's funny because people are like, do you ever cook? Because there's a dough bowl. Uh, when we're not live, the dough bowl goes on the island. Yeah. We don't like leave that there indefinitely. Okay, so I don't want to use up this whole thing because I'm sure Jamie's going to cut it. So I'm just going to stencil over here in the corner. I thrift all of these baskets. I'm a basket thrifter. That's so a really I've got, great way to get them. I've got these. They're from a restaurant called Slim Chickens. Their dessert comes into them. And I am embarrassed to tell you how many of these that we have. Um, <laughs> And my mom has been saving them for me and I remembered I had them. So I thought maybe it will do something on these because you could also use like Just spaghetti jars. of fabric on there. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. It's a great way for like all those old jars that you're like, oh, these aren't really, they don't really look that old, but could be you a You can't use. just throw them away. You gotta save them and then like keep them forever and then eventually donate them somewhere because you've saved too many of them. So now we're gonna turn them into something cute. We have new comments. I'm not supposed to touch this. You aren't. <laughs> oh, flower sack towels would be so cute. Shelly said she got some of those. After you heat set the paint, so you wait 24 hours, you use an iron and heat set it, don't use steam, and you just use whatever heat is appropriate for your fabric. You can wash it. It will fade over time just like a screen print would, but you can do onesies, t-shirts, all kinds of things. I will do a demo without an iron. We'll pretend that this jar is the iron. 
So you let this sit, right? I just stenciled this, let this sit overnight. Then you come back in, you grab another towel, put it over the top, and you get your iron on like cotton setting would work and depends on your fabric, whatever fabric you use, use that setting so you don't burn your fabric or melt it or discolor it or whatever. And then you just over the top of it really good. Going over it so you, you don't burn your fabric. And then once that cools off, that paint's not going anywhere. Oh, look, see, we got some transfer, whoops. But you want something over the top of it because what happens is the paint will start sticking to the bottom of the iron if it gets hot. So yeah, just use that piece over there. And then that's that's all the harder heat setting is. This is now my iron, but not. I'm gonna go grab, did you, oh, they're all right here. Where's the Halloween ones? Um, I don't know. Did you wanna, here, I, I did this one. Can you cut it so I can put it in the bottom of this basket, cut it how you want. And I'll do, do you want some Halloween ones on these? So I have a query. Yeah. This is like really small. Did you want to do something that small in that basket instead of filling up the whole space? Yeah. Okay. Unless you want to, you sound like you want to fill up the whole space. I mean, we'll see what it looks like. You wouldn't have asked if you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, sweetie. <laughs> yes, it is. It will Crafting be okay. Crafting with your husband after you've been married 20 years is always interesting. We have people all the time. They're like, how do you guys work together? I'm like. Oh, we don't take ourselves too seriously. All right, I think this is going to be okay. Yeah, I left I left some room I, around the I outside. I think you've done good. But could you find me the Halloween? The Halloween ones? Or gonna, Christmas minis, the vintage ones that just came they out? They were all in the pile of stuff. Did it get tossed down here? Are they on the floor? Here? Are they, oh, they're right here. Yeah. So I love the man in the moon, but I also love, look, here's the a witch in the moon. If you don't celebrate Halloween, just pretend we're using the Christmas ones. Here's an owl. Oh, and there's a crow. I'm I don't know. Worried. Halloween's gotten pretty big. For what it is, it, people decorate more for Halloween these days than they do Christmas, I think. So I'm trying. Where's the little fabric? Yeah, you got distracted. Well, I. you gave me your project, which you didn't want to do. I, well, I wanted you to cut it out so that it was just right for how you wanted it. Don't think I didn't know what you were doing there. I'll, I don't know I'll how people wear their hair out. down in the summer. It's like 452 degrees. All right. <laughs> Amy says, I literally have over 50 baskets and I'm so glad you did this because you gave me some serious inspiration. Go, go start making over those go, baskets. Now that you're over the pneumonia, Amy, let's start doing some baskets. Oh, you can also use parchment paper between your iron and the project, which is good. Or what I like to do because I'm lazy is I just take extra drop cloth or whatever and just throw it over the top. All right, can I have those scissors when you're done? Yeah. Now my only thing, I think this I'm just going, I'm not gonna decoupage it. I think I'm gonna just tack this with glue because I really don't wanna bring out the chicken and the Slim Chickens logo. Okay. So put this on here. We're just kind of pulling a couple pieces off to make this look a little frayed and old. That's okay. the goal, folks. You want it to look old. You wanna do the distressing or you don't want to do it, which is okay, but make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> Recently, we had someone comment, as soon as you started distressing, I turned the video off. I'm like, but you but stayed- But not before you commented about it. I was like, you stayed it. long enough to comment, so you, that's a fib. <laughs> you helped the algorithm by commenting, so thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Please comment on our other videos. And make sure you follow us, so that way you can watch more videos that you can stop watching halfway through, but leave a comment. And long enough to watch the ads, please. Okay. So I'm going to add this crow on here. What colors do you have? Have we been do using black to, velvet or only weathered wood? I've only been using weathered wood. The crow would velvet. be good in black velvet. Can you pass me the liquid patina there? Yeah, I think there's something in my eye. And your brush you were using, please. Thank you. All right. Basket Question, that we've had. Question, can you stencil directly on a basket? Yes, you can. You know which baskets I was going to grab and forgot to? Old apple baskets with some of these stencils would look amazing. We paid a good amount of money for some French apple baskets um, in Round Top, Texas. And so I thought this morning I would grab some and I forgot. So maybe on another video. Um, but on a bumpy surface, it is a little bit difficult. So if your basket is not as bumpy as this wicker, it would be not too hard. But if you've got a lot of texture, 
it can be difficult on a detailed stencil. So keep that in mind. But those apple baskets that have like the flat kind of paneled look to them would be really fun. Definitely, I would tape it though so it doesn't shift on you. Okay, I'm gonna do this crow here with black velvet. I'm gonna decorate my slim chicken jars. I don't even know what time it is. Zeb, what time is it? Uh, about 12 minutes or so. Oh, this has been pretty quick. Yeah, these have been fast crafts. I mean, it took us a minute to get going because we we're like, where's all the stuff? Like, we gotta, we gotta circle back to those baskets. Yeah. That I don't like how light they are. We'll figure it out. We still haven't finished last week's dresser. It's in the garage. I need to do that. I, I, the only thing last week's dresser from Waste Not Wednesday lacks is decoupage in one of the panels. Everything else is done. The drawers are fixed. It all got painted. Top's done. Um, all the stenciling's done on the drawers. I just need to go decoupage the inset on those. And I, I even have all the paper cut out. I just haven't gone in there. Maybe after this live, before I do fencing, I'll go do that so we can get a good picture for you guys. We have to go pick up a pie safe at two. <laughs> There's also a pie safe I'm telling you now today. because we're live, so you have to take it with stride. All right, here's my crow. <laughs> I'm just going to keep moving after I drop the bomb. I got it for 60 bucks, okay? I could not. No, the pie safes are always good. They're fun. They look great. And even if they don't sell right away, because we uh, we love them, so we price them high in case they, because we like to keep them. So, <laughs> so if they don't they sell, we're not sad. They sell pretty quickly. This one, I'm not even sure I'm going to paint it. I might just clean it up and... So I put a little bit of the liquid patina on the, the basket before I put this down, but I'm finding saturating the actual fabric with the liquid patina is the trick because that's really kind of pushing it down and making it adhere to the bottom. Okay. This is a little jar. It would be cute to go all the way around the jar too, but I already cut my fabric. Okay, I'm gonna go set this in the sun. So hopefully we can get it dry. That'll dry clear around those edges where I got the liquid patina over onto the, the wicker or whatever that is, the, the reeds that are cut. I don't know. And it is a little crooked, right? Because we didn't cut it out square. I'm, it's going to have remotes and stuff on it. I'm running with that. Yeah, this one is not going to be for sale on jamierayvintage.com. It's my basket. I'm going to bring that other one back in and put another coat on it. Okay. I'm still working with my slim chicken star. So I'm thinking what this needs is some burlap <clears throat> ribbon around the top. And I'm going to leave it as is, but you could also put a tea light in here or do some mums would be really cute. Some cut mums for fall. Will there be a video for the craft box this week too? Yes, um, it will. It may not be aired. It might be a private video that we just include the key. When you get your craft boxes, they have a QR code on them, and you just scan that. All right, I'm gonna scooch that over. I don't know. That's almost off camera, but it'll be all right. Try to organize my situation over here. We use the word situation too much. I've been told. What? Who said that? I don't know. Somebody emailed Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> we use it for all the things. So that's been saying situation for a while. Okay, one jar down. So I decided to do the witch and the moon next. Oh, this got some oh, great you know paint what? on it. Do we have any? Do we have any dark and decrepit? I think that might be the trick over the old and gray. Um, the old and yeah. gray is kind of making it look. It's in the green cabinet over there. Okay, I think the combo between the two is going to be what is needed because this is you know that's that's okay this is not old and gray this has got old and gray on it but the gray with this really light wood is kind of playing too gray i think which one is my basket my basket is the square one that we just finished chris wants to know how she should surprise her kids with disneyland i always like to buy my kids like shirts and then be like, hey, I thought you might want to wear these today. And then they usually figure it out from there. That's kind of fun. Or you could be like us when we went to, <laughs> we went to SeaWorld. The older kids had it figured out. but Yeah, when we went to SeaWorld, we're like, oh, we're going to go to the beach. And then we just kept driving and driving. And all of a sudden, we turned into the parking lot. I'm like, just kidding. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting it. 
Mostly I don't tell my kids things because they go, when is that? When are we going again? Is that when coming are up? Again? Are, we, are we doing that yet? How many days till we go? So I'm using black velvet with this one. All right, so here's the ticket. I'm going to dip a little into the old and gray and a little into the dark and the crepid because the mix between the two is really good. And I'm not swirling because this has a lot of surface area. And I may area. have to do the inside because some's coming out. Sorry. I'm not swirling because this has a lot of surface area. And it's kind of hard. It like moves the fabric too much when you swirl, when you have a lot of surface area on your stencil. Okay. Here's my little witch one. I'm going to cut that out. It's a slim crow. Yep. A slim crow instead of a slim chicken. Angela, you're funny. Zeb has to say situation because you're sitting where I normally sit. Zeb, I don't know if you guys know this about him. He does not like things to be different. He likes to know it. To, he can, sometimes he's learning to like be a little not organized and planned because he's been married to me for 20 years. But I'm very likes, good in an emergency situation because I don't freak out. But he, if I know it's coming, I, I plan for stuff. He likes things to be expected, like things like sleeping on the same side of the bed, things like always filming on the same side of the island, like... That's just the way things work. And he's being, he's a lot better than he used to be. But sometimes if we were like going to do something like a public event, not like we're in charge of it, but we're going to be in public, I couldn't just spring it on him. Here's the real thing. I'm right-handed. So I like to sit on that side. So I've got like full range of motion with my arm. I'm feeling a little cramped over here. <laughs> now you're welcome to my world. You got a short little T-Rex arms. <laughs> my T-Rex arms. Lori says she likes all of our situations. <laughs> An old coffee can would totally be cool. Or like a number 10 can, like we did, you could totally decoupage it to a number 10 can. If you don't know what a number 10 can is, I'll show you. We did a project on Waste you Not know, Wednesday. If you start getting it. really crazy, you could use the stencils with the decoupage paper and really create some cool stuff, I think. This one has a little bit of old and gray on the fabric and I kind of like it. Did, it. did I splatter it? I don't know. I might have just set it down in it. So on this basket, I did one coat of old and gray, and then now I'm coming over with like a mix of the dark and decrepit and the old and gray. I think I could get away with just doing the mix. I don't know that that first coat was necessary or needed because this is covering pretty good now. And it's I'm, I'm a little juicy, so it's coming through. So I am going to have to do the inside of the basket because I'm getting like these weird like right here, you can see oh, where yeah, the, the brush the pokes through. The dark and decrepit is better. Yeah. The dark and then you could also come well, back with a white dry brush. Well, I'm doing, yeah, that's, that's all. Did you already say that? No, I did not. All right, so now I've got my witch in the moon and my crow. And next I'm going, oh, I don't know about the owl. Let's see. Is there a cat? There should be a cat. Oh, there's a cat with a ghost. That's really cute. I'm going to do that one. Okay, I need another piece of fabric. Can you? This one for say is this up for grabs? I was gonna say that it's little scrap, yeah. It's got a little bit of decoupage medium on it, but it's fine. Okay. Slim chickens jars no more. I thought I had a third one. Yep. We're gonna do a trio. What is a critique sandwich? That's funny. Uh, let me just see if there's any questions. Leslie says, oh my, to heck with them. What? The people that don't like our situation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you guys are watching us on um, Facebook, if you would take that time and just hit that little share button, it helps us out a ton. We're trying to get to 600,000 minutes uh -huh. of watch time on Facebook. It's a lot of minutes in case you don't know what that equates to in video time. So shares it's a are a lot of hours watched. Shares and comments are and if you're watching on YouTube and you are on Facebook, not everybody on YouTube is on Facebook. If you could go back to our page and hit share, that'd be awesome too. Or just stay here, whatever. You can hang out. Whatever you want. Okay, I'm gonna do this one and then I think I'm done with the set. And then I think we'll be done. It's 1057. Yep, it's almost time. Are we doing anything extra with this basket? Are we gonna, or did we just wanna age this one and show them? Let's age this one and then let's go ahead and decoupage it. So that way they can see the 
decoupage it with the gonna fabric. On there. Are you going to do the tree one? Is it too big for that? Yeah, I think so. All right, we might have to stencil one more piece then. So maybe we get an oldie but a goodie, like an old French grain sack stencil. And by old, I mean we've only been making stencils for a few years, but. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come in and do the inside later. We'll do that off camera. Lots of stuff happens off camera. Well, you like can't. Like the paintings of the backs of things and, and the eradication of cobwebs and things like that. <laughs> you add it for texture. <laughs> it's just, it's getting encapsulated in paint and sealer. It'll be all right. <laughs> okay, uh -oh. let me go look. Okay. You know, I might be able to do just like half of the one where's where we had a couple other big ones some of the reasons i like to use black velvet is, instead of little black dresses it's not quite as harsh um little black dress is super dark so if you want a black that's um, a little bit on the gray side especially in this case where i'm not sealing it so it's going to dry lighter i'm going to have to move um, this black for velvet's a, a good option little black dress is, is the blackest black you can also use old school. That's a really good one to stencil with. I haven't popped open a can in a while. So I'm just going to use the top end of this one. This is the exact size. I hope that's not too big. Of no. what the, uh, did you use my, where'd my other, oh, there it is. Rebecca says, I'm going to get some of those towels and stencils. The stencils look good on them. Yeah, I want to see what you guys do. Let's see if anybody makes pillows with them. Where That's did you I go did. with the, oh, I went with it. I moved it over here. You know, does anybody have somebody that always, like, that always blames them for moving stuff? Just curious. Zeb always is like, where'd you put this? I'm like, is it, I mean, it's more likely that I'm the one that lost it. Cause let's be honest, I have more stuff than Zeb. But I'm like, it is possible that you could have misplaced it. I own up to it if I move Not stuff probable, on. but it is not beyond the realm of possibility. There's well, a set of well, our mostly, car keys in well, the bottom of the lake. mostly goes missing. Yeah, there are a set of our car keys in the bottom of the lake. That was that one's on me, but that was like 15 years ago. <laughs> and, I, and I never bring that up. Never. <laughs> um, but yeah, the car keys go missing a lot. I'm like, hey, I noticed my car keys were lighter. She didn't take the whole set. She just took the key she needed off of my key ring today. <laughs> okay. So this one is the French post, uh, post office. Oh, is that going to fit? I'm going to do half of it and we're going to do half of it on there. Just this top part and okay. the, the logo. So they make French mail sack. It's called French stamp, but it's not really a stamp. It's uh, the French mail sacks. This is their logo that comes on the old ones. I had a, a friend of mine just did like an entire chair with them. And I saw that and I was like, oh, I need to make that into a stencil because I don't know where yeah, you get French the mail actual sacks. Grain sa she or, actually uh, went mail, to France and got the actual grain sacks. Yeah. Okay. This is my last slip. The mail bags. Star. It just barely fits on there, but I like it. Okay. Linda says, I try to find somebody to blame, but um that she doesn't have anybody that lives with her. So. You can also blame pets if you've got those. And a lot of times they are You can blame ghosts. Ghosts. If something falls off the wall in the shop, Jamie's like, it was the ghost. There's, there's a ghost. She's friendly. Not all ghosts are creepy. All right. All right. Oop. I shifted. All right. I've got this one on here. I have to get more. Yeah, older lives count. As long as they're live videos, it helps us with that watch time. Um, if you just go to Jamie Ray Vintage, that's the one. And you can tell their lives because they're like 500 years long. They're usually an hour. Short videos with edited, concise statements, not live. When we stumble over our words and mess things up a lot, that's, I mean, more than normal. That's usually a live <laughs> video. <laughs> All right. My little Halloween jars are done. Look how cute those are. I want to put some like burlap or something around them. Got a little trio there. Okay. Jen says hers is not blurry, so sweet. And Christy says, I love French anything and retired from the USPS. Oh, we also have um, on Jamie Ray Vintage, if you look up, and maybe Caitlin can drop the link, we carried those like really rustic sacks made from old 
nail sacks. They don't mm -hmm. have logos on them. They're blank. Those are the those, some of them do, but yeah, most of them don't. But they, you could totally use this in the blue, guys. This is blue totally iris. Is that, that what I'm using? Yeah, had to double check. The basket says cotton. Is that decoupage paper or a stencil? Um, this one is neither. It's a well, it's a stencil, but it's on not on paper. It's on these. What are they? Shop rags that we're using? Yep. Is the heat gun out? I'm going to heat gun this real quick because we're running out of time. What do you need, Odelia? She's, she just what? wanted to say they look cute. Oh, you think it's cute? Or you like these ones? Okay, if you heat gun your fabric, oh, sure, keep it moving. Don't burn it. All right, we're going to get this one ready. I don't know about that on this. We can do it on that other one that's white. On the plain one? Yeah. yeah. This basket needs some work. Yeah, it needs some extra. It needs some distressing, maybe a whitewash. This basket's perfect because it's it's a little bit broken. So it's If you old. heat gun your fabric, you've almost already heat set it. <laughs> it probably is the same. So you're going to put that on the front of this? But I have burnt big holes in the fabric too doing this, so fair warning. Oh, so we did confirm that Bethany did not send that to Caitlin. Caitlin, Bethany will be sending it to you now. So if you want the big cotton stencil, check back later this afternoon and it will be listed. And if you've already ordered, you can order again because it's free shipping. So we do ship to the UK. I can't exactly tell you exactly how much it costs because it's calculated by our website. I just know it's quite a bit more expensive than shipping to the U.S. So free shipping only extends to the 48 U.S. states. I wish I could extend it everywhere, but fortunately, I don't own stock in UPS, so they don't really give me discounts. <laughs> we get a small volume discount. All right, I'm just trimming this up so it looks cohesive with the rest of what we've been doing. Jackie says... Um, I call you guys working in creative chaos. You sometimes bounce around, but end up with something fabulous. Does anybody create where they're not all over the place? Like there probably are people. I'm just not that person. Okay. So wakey. I want to put some little, little bit of frayed action on this. I'm just, I'm pulling on the edge where I cut it. That's, that's all that that is. I think I have some burlap twine somewhere. So it doesn't just look like a straight... Oh, I only have baker's twine. So this is it. only half of the stencil. There's a bottom half that says um, Posts France 5. There are 50 states, but two are very expensive to ship to. She didn't say contiguous. Oh, 48 contiguous. So the, the other two states, Alaska and Hawaii, we can't do free shipping because it costs almost as much to ship there as it does to ship to um, the UK. The UK. <laughs> no joke. Okay. All right, we're, we're pulling it together here. Barbara says she likes to say, listen, Linda, at least five times a day. It really is. It applies to a lot of things. And if you don't know what listen, Linda is, you can just look up little boy, listen, Linda video, and the video will probably pop up. Yeah. It, it went viral. It's hilarious. Oh, no. Wow. Hold on. I used the wrong brush. Where's the other? That was the dark and decrepit brush. Oh, Maddie's on here. Hi, Maddie. I don't know which. I think I used both brushes. What are you doing? For dark and decrepit. Hang on. I got to wash this brush. <laughs> Mostly clear. All right, are you just reading comments over here in silence? Sorry. It's not allowed. I didn't have anything else to say. All right. What I am Did doing is dance? I had to wash the brush. Yeah, do some dancing. I had to wash the brush because I used the dark and decrepit and the old and gray with both brushes. Oh, Trish, yes. Um, email Mariah and she can add it to your order since it wasn't on the wholesale site last night because it was missing from both. That's the best way to do it because 
it's not like to combine later for wholesale is harder, but she can actually add it to your order. So just email Mariah and I'll let her know. Linda's covering her ears with a monkey emoji and Christy says, bye. Bye, Christy. Aunt V says she's going to say bye, but watch the rest on TV. All right. Well, we're almost done. We're, we're, we're there. Getting there. Oh, I like that. I'm watching it on, because I can't really see it from here. I'm watching it on camera. I'm trying to do it upside down for you guys. Leslie says, I always want to say, listen, Linda, but she forgets to say, listen, Linda. <laughs> Leslie, I love you. <laughs> Les isn't on here today. She was watching yesterday. Maybe she's just not commenting. But I can't imagine Les watching without commenting. You know, it's in the middle of the day. Sometimes things happen. She could be living her life instead of watching us. Yeah. I guess that happens. Happens for me, too. Sometimes I stay away from my phone for a little bit and then I get back and I'm like, how did I miss all this stuff? Love you too, Liz. And Christy says, P.S. Love the basket. So she wasn't gone yet. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in and you're wondering where you can get these items, you can pick them up at jamierayvintage.com. We also have retailers that carry our stencils. They don't carry every single stencil, so you need to check with them and see what products they have. But if you go to JRV Wholesale, we have a retailer map and you should be able to contact them and see what they've got to offer. So there's a few different options there. And we also carry the paint products and a few of these, if we get them all the way finished, I'll load them up over at jamierayvintage.com. And side note, if you wanna be a retailer, you can also go to that same website and get going on the sign up. That's right. All right, I got a little oh, bit a of little bit blurry with the blue, but I left it because I kind of like it. It makes it look a little more worn and, and used. All right, guys. Yeah, I think maybe if you let it dry a little bit more, it would be less like less likely to smear. Yeah. Um, I gave you the websites for everything, so I think we're good to go. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage and follow Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us. All right, so I just hit end broadcast. Yep. Oh, okay. give me the dictionary code. I don't want to know the meaning. How do you? It's because you're clicking with your palm. Maps We're